Vascular disorders affect the arteries and the veins. The arteries bring blood to the body from the heart and the veins bring it back. These disorders are usually problems of plumbing, essentially, whether they're blocked or leaking or at risk for leaking. Abdominal aortic aneurysm affects the largest artery of the body and it's where bulge forms and grows and if it becomes too big, it is at risk for rupture. Carotid artery disease affects the arteries that go to the brain. The carotid arteries can have plaque buildup in them and often patients who smoke or have high blood pressure or high cholesterol or getting older can be screened with ultrasonography um, where we can detect the degree of narrowing. We treat carotid artery disease through either open surgery, cleaning out the artery, or stenting. This is not done to treat stroke, but to prevent stroke. Peripheral artery disease affects usually the lower extremities. Signs and symptoms include pain in your thighs or your calves with walking, pain in your feet, pain uh, in your toes, or wounds of the feet that don't heal properly. The minimally invasive options in vascular surgery are vast, and it does depend on the entity we're treating. For abdominal aortic aneurysms, we are able to offer endograft treatment uh, in most patients with infrarenal aortic aneurysms. For peripheral arterial disease, um, lifestyle management, medical management, and a walking exercise program is first line. And when that fails or people progress, we will then go to our endovascular toolbox and begin with the arteriogram with taking a picture of what the blood flow looks like with x-rays and contrast. Well, when we're in there, we can decide what interventions we can do, whether it be ballooning or stenting um, the blockage. In vascular disease, prevention is key. I would love for all of my patients to stop smoking and to have a good relationship with their primary care doctor such that they keep their blood pressure and cholesterol under control and that they are willing to make lifestyle changes with diet and exercise. Christiana Care Health System is well equipped to treat vascular surgery, uh, especially the, our population and our community here. We are able to offer complex therapies, open and endovascular, and we have the uh, equipment and the teams able to tackle these challenges. Mm -hmm.